What's up, everybody? So today, what is this? Part four of the DeGarn review. Today, we're going to be doing Great DeGarn GX. So we're going to be going through the transformation today. I'm not going to waste any more time. So let's go. OK, so moment of truth. Let's combine them into Great DeGarn GX. All right, so first things first, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to uh, take, do um, DeGarn first. So let's move Gallon out of the way. We'll put him here. Now, <laughs> there's not much that, <laughs> there's not much that uh, DeGarn has to do here. So pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this back part here. All right, you can take that, push this out, just like that. And then what we're gonna do is take this black part here and push that all the way in all right take that push that in take his head all right and then push that back so that kind of rests down there i was a little nervous about that but so far it has not really scratched or anything so but you do have to be where i worry about that uh, insignia there because you can tell there's a kind of red paint coming off and i think that's just because if you transform it over and over again sometimes that's going to uh, rub off and i don't really like that but eh, it is what it is so usually i have him in um great degarn gx mode so <laughs> he doesn't really come out of that mode so as long as you don't do it i've just done it a lot for this review so anyway all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna take his chest piece here and i'm gonna flip this up now with this piece here um what you've got is you've got these parts that are going to actually move. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to push these up. All right. Uh, actually, you know what? We're going to pull this out first. So let's pull that out like he's doing the Earth Breast Buster. All right. You're going to take it, push it into a V. Okay. Just like that. And then you're going to take this part and then move that up because it's actually easier to move up then. Okay. So you do that. Take that part. Push that up. Boom. All right. Now, uh... <laughs> The V part doesn't really stay all that well. I mean, it kind of will, but uh, sometimes you're going to have to push that back in. OK, so but you've got that part and then you're going to make that into a V. So keep that. All right. Now he's ready to go. So he's headless. Let's move him to the side over here. And uh, now with uh, Gallon. What we're going to do is we're going to take his leg pieces off first. So let's pop those off. Pop those off. Okay, now what we're going to do is for his legs, this back piece here, you can actually take off his tail as well. And, there. and then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to move his leg up slightly just like this all right and that's just so we can get some clearing here so we can take this piece off all right you're gonna do that with both legs all right and then you slide those off okay just like that okay now he's legless <laughs> so let's put him to the side and actually what i'm going to do i know a lot of people tend to uh do down first i'm actually going to uh I'm actually going to get his feet right and already put those on. So what we're going to do is take this, push this back up in. All right. So it's just like this. Now, what you've got for this, you're going to open this part here. You're going to put this back in here. Now, what this does is actually will go all the way into this empty space here. All right. And then what that's going to do, that's actually going to move this uh, knee part up. So what you're going to do, you're going to take that. Let's see if I can get you so I can, you can see that. And you take that, push that in, that comes out, boom, all right? And then that locks into place, just like that. I'm used to hearing that snap, but it is in there. So, okay, so now you got that. Now you're gonna take this part, separate this. Uh, this. Let's see if I can get that, all right, there we go. So pull that out. So it'll kind of look like that. All right, so there's one. Flare that out, boom. Okay, let's do that with the other one. So same deal. Push that in, 
open this up, close that back, take this, push that in like that. All right, close this back up. All right, separate this part. All right, so boom, those are his platform shoes. Now, <laughs> let's move those over. Let's bring back the Garn real quick. All right, the headless to Garn. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is let me make sure I've got his parts on, uh, let's see, it's this one here. So what happens is you've got this part here. These parts are gonna match up with this here. All right, so you take that, snap this in, boom. All right, so that's him with the lion part. Now, <laughs> because there's no die cast in this figure, um, his knees are kind of loose. So a lot of times once you start adding weight to him, like at least with mine, uh, you know, he kind of, uh, falls backwards sometimes <laughs> so all right so we got that and then we're gonna do it for this side too okay all right snap those in place all right so now he's got the line parts on now we're gonna put his shoes on now what you've got here is you got this part here and here this is where it's gonna actually connect and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take his feet and this part is going to slide in right in here. All right, so that slides in just like that. And then you can push this back piece down. Now it's kind of locked into place. So that's not really gonna move, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is flare this piece back out because this part will come out sometimes. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get them to, to stand when I'm trying to do this, but all right. So now he's one leg, okay. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the other leg. So we're gonna take that, slide that back in, just like that. And then take that and then push the back part in, boom. All right, so now he has his platform shoes. <laughs> so let's see if I can see, show you where you can see that. So now he's got the platform shoes. Uh, believe it or not, this actually reminds me a lot of Victory Saber from Transformers Victory. Um, maybe it's the shoes. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but for whatever reason, Great Dagar and GX always reminded me of Victory Saber. So, all right. So now that we've got kind of like his leg part done, all right, we're actually going to move him back to the side. We're going to concentrate on Gaon here. So, okay. Now for this guy, what are we going to do with him? So what we're gonna do is take the G-Bird off first. Okay. So we're gonna take this off, that'll come back into play later. All right, and then what we're going to do, let's make sure his legs are straight. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do, or actually let's do his head first. So we're gonna move this back up, kind of like he's going back into lion mode, and then you're gonna push this down, okay? Then you're gonna open his mouth, push this back in, so, all right. So, and then you're gonna take this part, and you're gonna push this down, all right, and then you're actually gonna leave it up like that. Okay, now, what we're gonna do is, well, let's uh, actually do his arms first, okay? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take this, push this up. Now, what you've got here, you've got this bar here, and of course, we're gonna actually slide that down, and then there's this little, like, notch here, and that's gonna go right into this piece here. I don't know if you can actually see that, um, but I remember when this figure first came out, there was, that was kind of a moment of contention, because uh, either that, that this part was breaking or it wasn't fitting in there correctly, and so I have not had that problem on mine, but what you do is take that, move that down, and then push this in, boom, and it kind of snaps into place there. All right, same thing. We're gonna do the same thing with this one. All right, so there it goes. Slide this down, just like that. And then, boom, slide that into place, just like that, okay? So now he's kind of like this. Now what we're gonna do, pull this out. All right, just like that. Now, as you can see, there's a great Degarn GX head in there. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this part out here. So what we're gonna do, push this up. We're going to pull his head out. And this cutout is right, very precise. So if you know if it's in there not correctly, um, you may break that. So just be cognizant of that. I've never seen anybody do that, but, <laughs> but it is a, 
a, a point of contention. So what he's got on the bottom of his neck, he's got these two like slide parts here. And what that's gonna do, that's actually gonna go into this part here and here. And so sometimes you have to take your hand and kind of guide that in and kind of slip that into place just like that, boom. And now it won't really move, all right, because it's kind of in there. It's not locked in there, but it's kind of in there. Okay, now what we're gonna do for his arms here is we're gonna take this, we're gonna move this like this, so the yellow part is actually facing inwards, okay? So we're gonna do that with that side as well. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move these up. So move that up and then kind of like he's doing an elbow bend there, kind of have it like that. So we're gonna do the same one with this one. So we're gonna move this up, okay? And then slide that, or move that down like that. All right, so this is pretty much, he's pretty much ready to go now, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring the Garn G, uh, X back in with his platform shoes. And then actually I'm gonna raise this camera so you can see a little bit better here. All right, but what we've got here is we've got these pieces here. And he's got this part here, 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 and here. All right, and that piece is actually going to rest right on his, on the top here. And this is actually where you can, uh, that might, this top, piece of his uh, V-fin or whatever, uh, you know, may get scratched up. So just be careful with that here. But this is all gonna have to kind of rest on top of that. And then uh, you've got two clips here and here, and that's actually gonna go to the back of the Earth Fighter. Okay, so what we're gonna do, and then he's got four holes here, 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 and all those are gonna kind of line into place. Okay, so what we're gonna do, make sure all of this works. All right, I'm gonna take that and kind of push that on. All right, and then let's move this here. So, all right, then kind of push that in. All right, so it looks like it's lined up correctly. Okay, and then we're gonna take this part, push that in. There we go. So the back part is connected. All right, and then we're gonna take the arms. We're actually gonna move those a little bit to keep those wings, even though those are the wings that actually don't move. <laughs> but just so that's kind of out of the way there. All right, and then for the line part, you're gonna take this and move this and then slide this down. This can actually be uh, a little cumbersome to do because sometimes he doesn't wanna keep that V form in there. So I'm gonna do is take that yeah, you see how that's moving around? So we're gonna take, take that, hold that in there. Take this and boom, there he is. All right, so now we've got great Degarn GX. All right, now what we're going to do is we're actually gonna take the G-Bird here and we're actually gonna put this back on his backpack, okay? So take that and then this should go in like that i can't remember if this is upside yeah it's upside down so he goes in like that that should snap into place all right so that's how the g-bird goes you can actually put the tail back on for a gallon if you want you can put that up on the top here this is still like it where his, that part would go i don't really like that look though so i'm actually going to take that off but you can do that now, what I noticed is that the lion head actually popped out. So what you're gonna do, we're gonna take this and we're gonna push this in, okay? We're gonna push that in, make sure that that's nice and tight, and then we're gonna take this and move, slide that back down. Okay, boom. So now he is latched in there. So that's what you have for Great Degarn GX. Let's move him backwards there so you can see him a little bit. So, there we go. Let's get his feet wide. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so there you have him. Great Degarn GX. So, there he goes. Um, we could actually take a look at his articulation. There's not really any need for that, though, because honestly, he has the articulation of uh, Degarn X, and that's unfortunate, but he does have some issues, so we'll get into those. 
Okay, so I know that I said I wasn't gonna do any of the articulation, because uh, he pretty much has the same articulation as Dagarn X. But I think I probably should go over and show you some of the limitations that he does have it so you know what you're what you're getting. So of course, like with the head, he can do 360. Okay. So he can turn that 360. He can look, he can't really look up just because of how that transforms forms there and like this whole piece is kind of like one piece he can't really look up but he can look down okay so he can look down you know but you're not going to get any upward uh looking there unfortunately so that's one of his limitations uh the other limitation that he has is in his shoulders now because of uh, you know, the arms that Gaon has, and because of that hinge that I showed you during the transformation, you're not gonna be able to move this up. I mean, you kinda can, but I wouldn't. And, uh, cause all you're gonna do is unlatch this and then this will kinda fall on his head and all this kind of stuff. So I don't really think that that's really worth even doing, but he does still have some articulation, you know, as far as he can still use his shoulders. Now, sometimes his, uh, his crest here in the, in the center will kind of get in the way of that. You see how that's moving like that? And actually that doesn't want to stay, but yeah, but he can still kind of move his uh, shoulders. All right, so you can still get some movement out of there, but even the limited upward mobility he had on his shoulders before, he, he, he doesn't have any now. So uh, that's unfortunate. And I don't know why that line head doesn't want to stay down. Let's see if I can get that back. Okay, I think that looks better. So, um, but yeah, so that is changed. Now, another thing that I've noticed, and if you notice, I was kind of like keeping my hand here. The reason why is because once he's kind of locked in here, he is still pretty heavy with all of this stuff on him. And so a lot of times what will happen is he wants to lean back just like that. Now, of course, he can lean back. He's not going to fall because his feet are so big. Uh, but unfortunately, the joints in the uh, ankles are not that great. I think he actually does better with wider stances than he does with uh, with ones that are not as wide. And he does actually have, I actually forgot to mention this in the GX, but he actually can lift this. So you do get a little bit more articulation in the ankle. But uh, so that'll actually help him when he's actually doing the GX Buster. Uh, so you've got that. And then that's pretty much it. I mean, like I said before, he still doesn't have any ab articulation in there. You're not going to get anything out of that. Um, his wrist limited. So you're not going to get anything there. Um, so that's pretty much it. And I just wanted to show you kind of some of the limitations that he does have. Now, like I said, if you don't care about articulation, you're like, look, man, I just want him to look like DeGarn, then this is fine. Uh, but for me, I need him to do a little bit more. So uh, that's what I've got for articulation. So last thoughts on this guy. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of torn as far as what I should do. I think that he is a good enough figure. If you're not someone who's looking for a lot of articulation or a, a lot of like gimmicks, you know, like flashing lights and, and things of that nature, I think that this is a good figure. Um, I wanna say total I probably spent, I think it was like 200 for Degarn, roughly about the same for uh, Gaon. And then, uh, you know, with the display set, I think that was like 50 or 60 bucks. So, you know, it's still it's still a pretty expensive figure. Um, so it really does de depend on like how big of a Brave fan or how big of a Super Robot fan you are. Um, but there are some people I know out there that don't really care much about articulation. If that's not one of your sticking points and you're like, hey, man, I just wanted to sit there and look pretty. I think that this will work for you. Um, for someone like myself, um, you know, who wants a little bit more, you know, I usually just want them to be able to do whatever it is that they did in the show. And, uh, you know, this one, it has a very difficult time pulling off a lot of those moves. And to me, a lot of those moves are not that stringent. Uh, so uh, I would still give him a relatively good score. I think the more that I've messed with him, um, I think the more I actually have kind of 
grown to like it a little bit more than I originally did. And so I, you know, I would still give him a seven. I think a seven is a solid score. If you love to garn, I would say pick this up. Um, if you're someone who's kind of used to like Pose Plus and Sentinel and those kind of deals, um, this isn't bad. This one doesn't have any die cast in it, at least not as far as uh, I know. Uh, and I know that the uh, the designers at Good Smile, they were saying that they wanted to kind of make a bigger mecha figure for uh, a lot less price than a lot of the ones that we're used to, especially with Sentinel and, and Pose Plus. You know, those things can run up to five or six hundred bucks um, easy. But, uh, you know, and this one isn't honestly that far behind as far as price is concerned, but at least they piece it out so you don't have to buy it all at once. So because that is a, a, a major investment. But overall, I still think that if you are a Degar fan or if you're a Brave fan, you could definitely pick this up. Um, if you're just a Super Robot fan, I would say wait and see what they're going to do with the Mike guy. And I'm, I'm actually very interested to see if they kind of fix some of the problems that I had with this Degarn. And, uh, you know, I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to pick it up. I know I, it's the pre-orders have, have long been over. Matter of fact, it's supposed to come out uh, next month. Uh, but I can still get my hands on it. So I haven't truly made a decision on what I'm going to do. Because the Sentinel, great Mike guy, and I already know that I like that. And so I don't necessarily need to have two of them. Uh, but anyways, um, that's what I've got for you today. Thank you guys for watching the video. I do have one more uh, Degarn video left in this kind of series. Um, and that's just doing the display set. I promise that one will not be 30 minutes. <laughs> it won't be 30 minutes. So um, that's what I've got for you today. Thank you guys for watching the video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.